February 14th is fast approaching, and for people worldwide, this date is held in some significance. However, as we have progressed as a society, the main reason for this date's celebration has been both mocked by those who deem it overly commercial and crass, and reviled by those who would have it called Singles Awareness Day. For this reason, Geek and Crancers and Rosen Nerds, I vow to never discuss that saint in any of my videos, no matter how interesting he may be. It is not overly necessary, when discussing February 14th, to focus our attention on one point in time. There are so many interesting things that occurred on that specific date. For instance, this was the day that, in the year 1400, Richard of the House of Plantagenet, that's Richard II, starved to death in captivity after abdicating the throne to Henry III and being kept in Pontefract Castle due to the danger his existence posed to the reigning monarch. Interestingly, Richard was a very tall, well-educated and athletic man, prone to stammering when agitated. Another death notable due to the fame of the deceased that occurred on February the 14th was that of Captain James Cook. Known for many of his feats, not least of all being the leader of the first documented Europeans to reach Australia's eastern coastline, Cook was, by and large, an explorer, navigator and cartographer. Before this, however, he served Britain in a more militant fashion and played a rather important role in the conquest of Canada. We also have Cook to thank for the fact that the first recorded instance of an animal circumnavigating the world was a female goat, known simply as the Goat, who travelled around the world twice before being put to pasture and dying in 1772. Seven years after this, in 1779, Cook himself was killed in battle with natives of Hawaii. Jumping ahead somewhat now, to 1920, we travel to Chicago, where, again on February 14th, Carrie Chapman Catt founded the League of Women Voters. As one of the last acts of the Women's Suffrage Association, the organisation has a stance of non-partisanship and, whilst they are a wholeheartedly political movement, their efforts are focused on advocacy and education especially for female voters. Founded in order to assist some 20 million women register to vote, and part of the chain of events that led to the 19th Amendment to the US Constitution, it is more than fitting that the name of this group sounds like a band of superheroes. Of course, science and technology aren't without their reasons to thank February 14th either. In 1961, a team of nuclear scientists, headed by Albert Schiozzo, discovered the 103rd element of the periodic table, Laurentium. This element is the heaviest and last element in the actinide series of elements. Unfortunately, I do not have a great deal of knowledge about its uses, as its half-life is just under four hours long. And finally, audience. If it weren't for February 14th, I would likely not be here talking to you now. Or at least, were it not for something that came into being on February 14th, 2005. This year, on that date, YouTube shall turn nine years old. So, happy birthday, YouTube. I hope that you and Google have bought each other something nice this year so that you can stop taking out some of your differences on your children, perhaps? Hey everybody, thank you for making it to the end of another one of my videos. I personally could not be happier with how that went, and I'm pretty sure that you agree. If I'm right, you should click the like button, which is just down here, and you should also click the share button, it can be found down there too, and there's one up here somewhere maybe? Anyway, if you would like to watch last week's video on a topic completely different to this one, you should click in the area that is over here. 
If you want to subscribe to my channel and be notified whenever I post anything, you should click over here. Anyway guys, I will see you next week.